So we know that units are just ones, but when you have 10 units together, you make one 10. So to show that, we can draw a line of 10 squares. When you have 10 tens, you have a 100. So we can show a 100 with a square made up of 10 of these 10 lines. Now, when you have 10 hundreds, you have a 1,000. So you can imagine that these 100 squares are really 3D. And if we have 10 hundred squares stuck to each other, we have 1,000. So we show a 1,000 here as a cube. So looking at our place value columns, we know about units, tens, and hundreds. But then the fourth one from the right is our thousands column. So we say this number as 1,439. So this one in our thousands place means we have 1,000, we have four hundreds, we have three tens, and we have nine units. Notice that there's a comma between the thousands and the hundreds, both when the number's written in words and when the number's written in digits here as well, though in some maths te textbooks, they don't always include the comma when a number's written in digits. Notice also the and between the hundreds and the tens. This is how we say numbers in the UK, but in other English-speaking countries, such as America, they sometimes miss this out. Occasionally, you might hear someone say this number as 1439. You probably won't see this in any maths textbooks because it's quite an informal and old-fashioned way of saying the number. But it's not wrong. If you have 1,400s, you do have 1,400s because 1,000 is the same as 10 hundreds. Now see if you can say this number here. We say 2,157. So that's 2,000s, 100, 5 tens, because 50 is 5 tens, and 7. Now pause the video and see if you can write the number which is represented here in both digits and words. We have three thousands. Then we usually write a comma to separate the thousands and the hundreds. We have three hundreds. We have five tens. And we have six units. So we have the number 3,356. So what number do we have here? We have 4,000. We don't have any hundreds. Well, really, we have 40 hundreds because there are 10 hundreds in each of these thousand cubes, but we don't have any separate hundreds. We have eight tens and we have two units. So we have 4,082. And notice that when we write the number in words, we don't need a comma because we don't have any hundreds and the comma separates thousands and hundreds. So what do we have here? We have three thousands, no hundreds, no tens and nine units. So we have the number 3009. And you can see why these zeros are really important as placeholders. If we ignored the zeros, we would have the number 39. And we can see here the number 3009 is much, much bigger than the number 39. 
So finally, what do we have represented here? Two thousands, two hundreds, no tens, and no units. So we have two thousand, two hundred. 